All right, good morning. Just got done milking. Coffee's made. Had two helpers this morning. They're eating mommy's homemade muffins. So we got everything clean. We also planted some more microgreens. Got those done. Um, so we are fist start our day, but there's our microgreen pan. They're growing. Of course, been editing another video that will be coming out soon. So busy morning, but uh, we're going to bring you along for the day. morning as we got outside you see the cows have ate this paddock down this is the one that's struggling growing back because all the rye was right here so it's still learning but they ate all that corner over there you see this is two weeks ago so it's already starting to grow and now i moved them over to this paddock there's some high grass over there this three paddocks here are the ones that's struggling from growing rye um one thing i learned is when you grow rye especially if you have bahia grass um, it doesn't do well with it and it struggles to grow back through so that's why we planted Bermuda So we're gonna go back in and disc all this up and that way we can have a better a better produce bit really of uh, Bermuda grass um, It's growing heavy all back, you know here, but nothing here So that's where we've got to disc up and replant some grass and basically they'll be off of it for the next six to seven weeks Trying to get it growing back really well this side's doing okay. I mean, I'm gonna touch a few little spots right here on the edges. That's just where their feed usually is. So that's why it's so muddy and just kind of nasty. But um, really all through there, it's got good grass growing once it grows back. So it's got about two weeks, or excuse me, four weeks left on this paddock before they get back in here. Six to seven weeks before they get back in here. And of course, I'm gonna let them just eat that grass down so I can do the same thing and, and redisc it. On the other side, we've got tons of beautiful grass that the little jersey and the little, um, Angus are on. So we'll take uh, Daddy O back over there uh, and also our, our our milker, which is Elsa. We'll take them both back over there in the next little bit. Uh, but we're going to let them eat that grass down over there so that way I can get a good fresh disc on it. And that way we can, uh, you know, it, it can grow better than what it is. Because this right here, as you see, there's no grass in this area. And it was just plush uh, with rye grass for the winter. But it's caused some issues with our ground. So we're gonna treat it, get it back right, put some amendments, spread some of this manure that they've put out. And that way we can get fresh grass growing like it is up there. As you see, I've already disc all this up too. Just a light disc. I don't wanna to go too deep because it's, it's got some roots. It's just not coming up real well. So we're gonna get some more seed on it and amend it. I, all that manure that was there that they'd pretty much dropped, we uh, spread it out and kind of mixed it all in. So it's got a better quality soil all the way throughout now. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and then seed it with some more bermuda and see if we can get it growing thicker through there and it'll have a good six to seven weeks to rest before we put cows back in it so i uh, just want to show you the difference in how uh just a little bit of uh, work just to get it uh, tilled back up and get it ready and, and uh ready for a replant all right as i said before we're going to go check on the beef cows again but really we're going to put some temporary fence in there so we're going to run to the feed store pick up some more temporary fence them and poly tape and then we'll be heading up there and we're going to um, go and get that fence built for uh, those cows so we have some better paddocks and have a little bit more intense grazing. All right, it is about 95, 96 out here. We're gonna go ahead and do this temporary fence into a whole line. You see the cows up there? We're gonna go and put them where they have to eat a certain area first. The whole point of intense grazing where they can't just pick and choose some good stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start this fence and we'll show it to you once we get it. We're gonna get just one paddock at a time. Got the other fence up, we're just gonna put them in this side in their jail for the, the week and a half, two weeks. You see, we got it going all the way down there, crossing the creek, and shooting that way. So they got creek access, they got all this hill, they got pay access, they got the feed trough, and uh, they got a pretty view. But other than that, we've got it finished. We're gonna go and hook the energizer to it, and be ready to go.
Okay, we just finished the fence. Me and Aiden are sweaty and the girls are too. But we are glad to be done with that project. So now these cows have paddocks. We're gonna do about three paddocks up here because they're bigger cows and a lot more of them. So we're gonna do three or four big paddocks and then uh, be done. Cause we're not up here as much. So uh, what do you think, guys? It look good? It's better than it hot one today we actually uh i'm so burned i have to actually have a long sleeve on a fishing shirt so i'm trying to keep uh keep from getting tore up any more than i am i'm really red so sorry about that but uh we're actually gonna go ahead and pull up all this lettuce this lettuce is mostly what to see some of it still needs to dry but we're gonna go ahead and pull it up so we can get the rest of our peppers and tomatoes planted uh we're gonna use our chicken fertilizer mulch to rebuild the bed and to re-nurture it and then uh and then again go ahead and get it all planted so we're gonna see how it does in just pure chicken uh, manure really uh and hopefully it'll be uh good like this one i mean this one's done really well uh, these are all our the rest of our peppers about 50 peppers um, and we put chicken bedding in there and it's it's just grown probably four to six inches per plant um since we put it in there last week so Hopefully we'll have some good growth out of it and we'll see how it goes from there, but we're gonna go and get this up now. I don't know how y'all do it, but we take all the suckers off, single stem tomato, and we'll plant it up to there. So we'll plant probably eight to 10 inches in the ground. Uh, again, we've got tomatoes running out of our ears, but we love them. But I don't know, I just, that's what we do. We plant it all the way up. So this big, long, you know, 15 inch plant is actually going to look above the ground about that much. And we'll cover it all the way up. We, we decided to plant the rest of the tomatoes, or not the rest of them. We still, man, we still got probably 50 plants, but this is another uh, 42 plants here. Excuse me, 32 here. Eight times four. Come on, math. That's 32 more plants to go along with 50 more pepper plants, to go along with, uh, I think, 60 something tomato plants there. We've got five or six more tomato plants over there. We've got four or five in these back two beds over here where the sunflower and that uh, carrots are flowering. And then we have another 108 over there. So I think we've got enough tomatoes. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, wait. Over there next to the onions and those raised beds, we've got another 50. So, we really like tomatoes and hopefully they'll start coming on in. So, we've got the spring ones, they're almost here. They're green, this will turn red and yellow and orange. And then we got these coming up, hopefully for fall, where we can pick, put them up and uh, put them up for tomato paste, tomato sauce, and spaghetti and some things like that. So, I hope you These are coming home for the evening. Just about every one of them are bearding. Um, what I've learned more is that they seem to, once honey flow kind of stops, and just to make room for the uh, other bees and other larvae that's coming, they try to aerate and actually add, uh, really condition their hive with not being so hot. So they spend time on the outside of the box a lot more. So, um, you know, learning something new every day. But all my 10 that are here, um, are actually doing that and they're all doing really well though. I've checked them. They all look great If you look at this little box over here, I'm gonna open it in the morning. I've got a swarm in there I caught uh, what was so neat is I actually caught this thing at a <laughs> At a dealership. So so we were able to do that as well. So, so uh, temporary fence and I don't know if y'all have one of these These things are the best thing I've been in uh, Makes a little gatekeepers basically for your temporary fencing, but makes it where you can get them in and out easy Look at them. Let's see how awesome these cows are they're walking because they know routine. Cows are all about routine. So they're walking and kind of getting out. I don't even have to move them, no feed, no nothing. So good job, Allie girl. Those horse flies are bothering her. <laughs> and she's gonna be stubborn just because she's on film. She wants to strike a pose for you. All right, so we'll lock the gate back. Easy and simple enough, huh? We just choose not to leave them in here. Not that we can't. I know a lot of people do leave them 
in at night uh, in temporary fencing we're just a little fearful of that so we let them eat real heavy in that paddock and then we'll put them back at permanent fencing and then every morning i get done milking around um 5 30 ish 5 40 we'll go and put them back in that same fencing and let them go in and eat that grass uh our paddocks are doing great they're doing great come on girl you say hey you say hey horse flies i don't know about y'all but horse flies this year has been terrible here so we've been treating having to treat her every day but man they'll have her bleeding right on her ankles especially if she's in her higher grass which she's been in this new paddock so um i know it gets on her nerves but we're spraying her down and she gets ill with us from spraying her down but it, we're just trying to help her so you know it is what it is so we're gonna get these cows taken care of and uh we hope that you have had a great day um you know it's been a wonderful day here and uh we're hoping to have an even better day tomorrow we've had some good rains uh the last few days so the fields are looking great as you can tell green 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 and that's what you want when you have cows so uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you haven't rang the bell to know when we have a new video please ring the bell uh please comment we love when people comment to us and remember max at eight on wednesday evenings uh but again have a wonderful night and happy homesteading y'all